this is Galit Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling open because today our quote of the day is, sometimes incompetence is useful. It helps keep an open mind by Roberto Cavalli. Keeping an open mind is crucial for your success. Being open-minded means that you are willing to consider a different perspective on a subject. It means that you are willing to consider different opinions, different values, and different beliefs from your current ones, even if they contradict your current ones. When your mind is not open, you are unable to see all of the opportunities that are there in front of you. When you are not open-minded, you are too rigid to see where change is necessary. You will be too rigid to make the necessary changes that will lead to your success. You are biased and your mind selects and interprets information in a way that's biased by your current perspectives, opinions, values, and beliefs. Keeping an open mind allows you not to be a conformist, which most people are. When you conform, you will at best get ordinary results. An open mind leads you to more innovation, which will allow you to get extraordinary results. Once you have set out your goals that you desire to achieve and have made your plans to achieve them and start following through with your plans, you will see that life tends to perhaps have other thoughts in mind. Your plans will often need to change, but as I have said many times, your goals do not need to change. Just the way to get them may need to change. To change plans requires flexibility of character and an open mind. When your mind is open and you listen to other people or listen to self-help, motivational and inspirational content, then you are open to new ways of doing something, new ideas, new uh, people and how these new people have succeeded. Once you understand that you do not have all of the answers, but you have access to all of the answers, then you can succeed at any endeavor. When you are focused on your goals and work towards them, then this definiteness of purpose, as Napoleon Hill said, will bring opportunities that are in line with your goals towards you. You will attract what you need to anything that you need to advance your goals when you have definiteness of purpose and you are doing the work that is required. Now, the only thing in the way of your advancement is whether you take advantage of these opportunities or not. You will only really be able to take on these opportunities if you are open to them. If you are not open enough, you will not see them as opportunities and will fail to take the right actions. This is why openness of mind is so crucial to your success. Once you stop taking advantage of new opportunities, then you actually stop the path towards your success because we, you stop growth. You stop growth and you stop progress. Then we say that it, it's not our fault, but it is in our hands and we choose our actions. New ideas and opportunities may trigger fear within us, but we must overcome this fear. See my video about fear, which I will provide a link to at the end of this video. We may not take on an opportunity because of fear of change, fear of failure, or even fear of success, believing that we are not worthy of it. But without continued growth, we are now all that we will ever be. If we don't grow, we will just remain as we are right now. Ask yourself whether this is good enough for you. Maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Only you know the answer to that deep within your heart. Being open-minded means that you are willing to learn new things and to think about problems in a new way. And when needed, you are willing to step outside your comfort zone. The comfort zone may feel good, but if you are not where you truly desire to be, then this comfort zone is actually holding you back from your desired future. Remember, if you are not going in the direction of your dreams, then you are surely going in a different direction. Most often, not as good as a direction as you would like to be. So, are you open-minded? Can you entertain a new thought and a new idea? Are you prepared to throw away any beliefs that you have nurtured throughout the years when you learn something new? When a new opportunity comes along or when someone gives you a new and great idea or opinion, are you willing to open your mind that this could be true? Being open-minded leads to better judgment and this leads to making better decisions. 
People tend to take on a new idea only when it matches their current beliefs and lifestyle. If there is no match, then they say that it is wrong. Ask yourself if this new idea or new opportunity is right for you and if it could move you closer to the life of your dreams or not. This is openness of mind. Also, uh, being uh, uh, willing to meet new people, new cultures, this can open your mind to how other people think, behave, and what they believe in, and why they believe in this and in this way. The greatest minds all knew the importance of an open mind. Albert Einstein said, the measure of, intellig of intelligence is the ability to change. And George Bernard Shaw said that those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. And Henry David Thoreau said, it is never too late to give up your prejudices. And Marcus Aurelius said that if someone is able to show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change it, for I seek the truth. It is the person who continues in self-deception and ignorance who is harmed. And even Frank Zappa said, a mind is like a parachute. It doesn't work if it's not open. <laughs> and the list goes on and on. Being open-minded predicts how well you will do in life and how well you will feel about your life. We are all unknowledgeable in one subject or another. Everyone. And those of us who are most unknowledgeable often don't even know it. Their mind is closed to everything because they think that either they know it or they should know it. So they don't talk about it. They're not open. Think about your life. What about your diet? Should it be changed? Is it really leading you to long-lasting health? What about your beliefs? Are they leading to, to a happy and prosperous life for you? And what about your habits? Are they beneficial to the way you see your best life? Be open to input. You may even wish to ask those closest to you what they think about your views on a subject. Listen to them. However, if they are not an expert in the field, or if they do not have what you desire to have, then think things twice before you uh, commit to a new path. Check if your current opinion is really the right one. So how do you become more open-minded? Well, I believe that there are good two ways to start. The first one is to question your thoughts. Ask yourself, what if I thought otherwise? Could it be true? Why or why not? What if I am wrong? I do this regularly, making sure that my thoughts are real and come from truth. It's important to question your basics from time to time, even if you do not want to do this. It's good to rethink your beliefs. Talk to people who think differently from you on a certain subject and listen to their beliefs. Why do they think this way? What are their arguments in favor of this issue? And, and what are their arguments against your point of view? Do they have proof? Is this truth or is it just another opinion? Now you can reevaluate your thoughts and see if they're true or not. In this way, you become more open-minded. The second method is to question your beliefs. Ask yourself, how would your beliefs be different if you lived in a different place or had a different background or a different environment? Would you still think the same way that you are thinking currently? Or what would you do or think differently? These questions will help you break away from any rigidity or primitive thought patterns that you may be holding on to, which may be holding you back from your true potential. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help get you uh, towards a better life, move you forward towards your ideal life. And the question of the day is, have I rethought my beliefs lately? Are my beliefs grounded in truth or are they based on opinions? Is there room for me to rethink my thoughts and to open my mind to more things in this world so I can live a better, fuller life? If you do see that your mind is not open enough, try out the two methods that I mentioned here in this video. Question your thoughts and question your beliefs to help you open your mind and allow you to benefit from the, this flexibility of thought for every area of your life. As usual, I recommend writing these questions in a notebook especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and ensure that you're moving your life towards the best place for you. To finish off, the affirmation of the day is, in this moment, I am open and kind. In this moment, I am open and kind. 
Tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to get uh, lots of health and wellness information to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.